People are always coming up to me in the street and asking me a couple of questions. One, how did I get so handsome? And two, how can I get to Mars faster than a regular rocket can get to Mars right now? Well, at the moment, if you wanted to go to Mars, even with just a regular robot, we'd put that robot on a rocket ship, and we'd get it going there about 40,000 kilometers an hour. It'd be about six, seven months before it actually reached there. Well, I have some exciting news. Uh, I have a brand new type of rocket that's being planned for a mission to Mars, which isn't really that new. It's an idea that's been around for a long time. You might have even heard about it in uh, science fiction. It's called an ion drive. Let me explain how this works. Now, an ion drive works on the principle of electromagnetism, uh, which is <clears throat> kind of what I was talking before about why it's so good looking. But in this case, it has to deal with a uh, large positive charge and a small positive charge. Now, unlike this one, which has a, a monkey, um, we actually uh, use a, a, an engine. And here we have that large positive force and we have some fuel, in this case it's a neutral fuel atom, the green little dots there. We fire them into this thing and we end up having them bumped into by these electrons. Well, when that happens, we end up getting two negative electrons plus this tiny positive atom. Now remember what we said, when you have two of the, the same charges, they're gonna repel each other. So we have this big positive charge here and a small positive charge there. Well, what's gonna happen is that's gonna send it out in this direction. And that happens billions and billions of time. And what we end up getting is this thrust in that direction and we cause the rocket ship to move in the opposite direction. Now, how exactly does this work? I'm glad you asked because I'm gonna demonstrate using this giant Nerf gun. So I've got my Nerf gun, I'm on a wheelie chair here. And the basic principle about this is the difference between say a drag racer and a smart car. Now a drag racer's got a lot of power, but it can only go for about a quarter of a mile. Whereas a smart car has a very small amount of power, but it can travel for many, many hundreds of kilometers because it's much more efficient. And that's sort of the idea behind this ion drive versus a regular rocket that we're using right now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna be the ion drive. So I am a big positive charge. I'm a positive guy. And we're going to say these little tiny darts in here are smaller positive charges and they're going to be forced away from my ion gun and hopefully that's going to push me across the stage. So let's 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 give it a shot. Uh, so here I am and I'm a positive charge and I, I'm firing and it's working. It's totally it's totally working. Wow that's that's pretty amazing with the oh but of course you were you were pulling me there weren't you? Yeah it was. Yeah why is that? Well, we have friction here on the Earth, so an, a rocket like this could actually never work on the Earth. Only works in space. In space. Where you have far less friction. Yeah. But thanks for pulling me. That was really fun across the stage there. Do you think maybe you could do it some more for me today? Sure. Yeah? yeah. Cool. For uh, the Express here at the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Amanda Samra. And uh, that's the latest in technology.